I think we should crouch down and get super little. Let's see if we're right. Oh, yes. <laughs> hey, you are so great at this game. I'm having so much fun. Okay, I think we have time for one more. Oh. Oh boy, okay, so this animal looks like it's got quite a long neck and it's got these spots on it. What kind of animal is this? It's a giraffe, whoa! Okay, so do you think a giraffe is super little? Or do you think a giraffe is super big? Yes, I think a giraffe is super big. Oh, that is awesome. Let's see if we're right. Yes! <laughs> hey, you did so great helping me play this game. There are so many things that we can see outside that are super little and super big. <laughs> I had so much fun hanging out with you all today. Oh, but the fun is not over yet <gasps> because it is time to listen to an um amazing Bible story and I can't wait. So take a seat and get all comfy and let me see your hands <laughs> and open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, <sighs> open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap. It looks like we're all ready. Hey friends, the name's JJ. That's short for Jumping Jenny. Well, at least that's what my friends call me, so that's what you should call me too. I love to jump around because it helps me get everywhere really fast. And this is everyone's cuddly buddy, Stanley. He's such a good friend and he loves belly rubs. He loves playing, and he always knows when someone needs help. Yes, you're a good boy. Yes, you are. Wait, what? Zip needs help? Well, we better go see what's up. Hey, Zip, what's up? I heard you needed some help. Hey, JJ. Yeah, I was trying this really cool new trick where I pop the front end of my skateboard up and flip it around. Well, something went a little wrong, and now my board is up in the tree. I can't reach it, and I don't know how I'm gonna get it down. Hey, buddy. Sorry, I don't really feel like playing right now. Zip, I'm so sorry that happened. Don't be sad. I'm sure we can figure something out. I know I want to be a good friend, but how can I help? What would a super friend do? Oh, that's right, Stanley. Why didn't I think of that? When we don't know what to do and need to find a clue, there's a place we can look, we just look in the book. We'll see what we can see, and super friends, we will be. Hey everybody, my name is Daniel, and I am so excited to tell you something amazing that I read in my favorite book. And do you know which book I'm talking about? It's the Bible, and the Bible is so important because it helps us know how much God loves us. So I read all in my Bible about a boy named David. <laughs> you see, David was a young boy, and God helped him do something really hard. David was just a kid, and he helped out around the house. Do you help out around the house? Like cleaning your room or helping with the dishes? That's awesome! Well, David helped take care of the family's sheep. He spent his days out in the fields caring for the sheep, making sure that they were safe and had food to eat. And David had seven big brothers. Wow, that is a lot of brothers. Some of his brothers were even soldiers. While David was out in the fields, his brothers were on the battlefield. So David's dad wanted him to go down to the battlefield and see how they were doing. So David went. When he got there, he saw two hills. His brothers were in God's army and they were on one hill. Show me two thumbs up and say, yay for God's army. Yay, <laughs> that's awesome. Then there were the bad guys and they were on the other hill. 
Can you show me two thumbs down and say boo for the bad guys? Boo! <laughs> Just as David got to the battlefield, a very big, ginormous bad guy came down into the valley between the two hills. Now, this giant bad guy's name was Goliath. Goliath was big, Goliath was scary looking, and Goliath was not nice. Show me two thumbs down and say, boo, Goliath. Boo, Goliath. Goliath teased their army, and Goliath made fun of God. Do you think that that was a good thing to do? No way. God is our good friend. He loves us. He takes good care of us. You shouldn't talk bad about God, but Goliath did not like God, and he let everyone know it. Everyone was so scared, and no one wanted to fight Goliath. Well, no one except for David. David knew that God was on their side. David knew that God would help them beat Goliath. So David marched right up to Goliath, and he saw Goliath's big shield, and he saw Goliath's big sword, and he saw that Goliath had armor to protect him. David didn't have a shield, and David didn't have a sword. David didn't have any armor at all. All he had was a slingshot. So David went down to the stream and picked up five smooth stones. Can you count the five stones with me? Awesome. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five smooth stones. <laughs> David might have been afraid of the big, mean giant, but he knew that God loved him and that God would help him. David knew that God was always a good friend. David took his slingshot, put one stone in it, and he slung it around and he let the stone go and it flew through the air and hit Goliath right on the forehead. Goliath fell to the ground with a giant thud. Yay! Woohoo! Way to go, David! David beat Goliath. And David beat Goliath not because David was super strong or super big, but David beat Goliath because God helped him. God is a good friend and helped David do something really, really hard. God is your good friend too, and he will help you do things that are hard. Like maybe when you have to go someplace new and you don't know anyone or when you're kind of scared because it's dark and stormy outside, or when you have to be nice to your friends and share your stuff, even when they're not being nice, that's hard. But remember that you are not alone. God loves you and wants to help you. God is a good friend. So let's pray and thank God for always being our good friend. Give me a big clap. Awesome. Dear God, Thank you for being our super good friend. Thank you for helping us when we have to do hard things. We love you, God. Amen. That was so amazing, guys. I'm going to remember this all week long, that God is our good friend. So until next time, see you later. Oh, I get it now. So God was with David and helped him to do something really hard. I know God is a good friend and will help me be a super friend to Zip. Wait a minute, I'm getting an idea. Zip, you know how I love to jump, right? And you know how I'm really good at jumping really high? Well, I'm thinking I could just jump right up there and get your skateboard. It might be a little scary, but I know I can be brave. I really think it'll work. That might work, JJ. I mean, it's worth a try. All righty. Zip, Stanley, I'm gonna need you to stand back. I don't want anything falling on your head. So if I just stand right here. <sighs> okay, I got this. On the count of three, I'm gonna make the biggest jump I've ever done. You guys count for me while I get ready. One, two, three, and jump! JJ, thank you so much. That was really awesome. Absolutely, that was awesome. It was super high and I was a little scared, but I'm so glad I could help. We can always find great answers of how to be a good friend when we look in the book. I hope you guys have a great week 
And just remember, God is a good friend, and I can be a good friend too. Who is a good friend? God, God is, is a good, good friend. friend. That's right, God is a good friend. See you later, super friends. I loved listening to it with you. And now it is time for the moment we've all been waiting for. We get to sing and dance to a super duper fun song. And I can't wait. So get up on your feet. Stand up, stand up. Because it's time to dance. <laughs> Bye, friends. When I laugh, when I laugh, <laughs> and when I frown, when I frown, when I'm spinning Whee! round and around, and around, everywhere I go, oh I know you are with. So glad I have a friend like you I wanna be a good friend